When building AI automations for your clients, you need to know how to properly set up the OpenAI Chat GPT module. The first thing you'll need to do is create a connection to your OpenAI account, so we'll need to get your API key. To get your API key, click on this link and it will take you to your OpenAI account. Then create a new key. Name it Make so you know what it is. Now we need to copy and paste this key here and press Save. Then we should be connected. To use this ChatGPT module as an API in Make, you'll need to add credit to your account, which you can do under Usage. Once we've done that, you can select which model you want to use. There are pros and cons to all models. For example, older models generate quicker responses but aren't always as accurate. I like to always use the latest and most advanced model. Now under Messages, we can use each role to create the perfect prompt. So for System, this is where you need to give instructions and guidelines on how to behave and respond. For example, we can write something like this. Now under User, this represents the user's query to the AI. This is where we can add our variables from different modules and write something like this. Now, for Assistant, this is where you can give an example of the type of responses you're looking to achieve. So we can write something like this. We've now given our module clear instructions on its role. Now, to make sure we're getting sufficient responses from the AI, we need to set an amount of tokens. You might need to adjust this. The longer the response from ChatGPT, the more tokens it uses. If you go too low, then you might get short responses from the AI. If you go too high, then it will use a lot of your credit. Once we've done that, we can press OK. So what happens if you are building this out for a client? How do you build them for the usage? Here are two ways you can do this. You can get your client to send you their API key and make sure they keep track of their credit balance and usage, or you can create a separate API key for each client and then bill them for their usage. Comment below if you have any questions.